Hello everyone, uh, this is Deepak uh, from DSS 2022. Uh, we have with us uh, Mr. Suhas Motwani, uh, who is founder product folks, uh, who is a community of product managers, uh, also co-founder Indistractable, uh, which is a new age minimalist launcher uh, to curb digital distraction and boost uh, productivity. Uh, welcome Suhas to Digital Success Summit 2022. I think wonderful being here. I think it's a great, great set of panelists as well as audience. So thanks so much to you guys for hosting this. Thanks, Suhas. Thanks, Suhas. Uh, so I'll quickly put forward one of the, you know, uh, question which we have uh, listed for you. Um, as one of the most successful community builders in India, uh, what is your present business plan and how do you plan to expand it in the future? I think with the larger community, I think we started as a volunteer driven community. Um, didn't really start off with revenue as a metric, but instead how many people can we impact and help build their careers in product management, right? That is the base with which we started with. Uh, I think we've been fairly successful, although I think it's still day one for us just getting started, but fairly successful, at least in India, helping people transition into product management and then upskill and network with other product managers in their field, right? So from a business plan point of view, I think uh, we're still early, we're still figuring that out, but what we want to solve for the core problem, I think we're getting closer to that, right? Can we help build really, really great products coming from India? Um, we're already seeing that early, early um, success, right? Uh, some of our community members, some of our volunteers, work working with some of the best Indian startups, whether in the B2B side, whether in the B2B side. I think that's where I think we've, we would say at least we've checked off level one. And like you mentioned, I think now it's time to move to level two, level three. Uh, how do we build this into a sustainable community that lasts even after, you know, we are probably active here? Um, and maybe explore, right? For example, recently we launched a Web3 community, right? We realize our community is enthusiasts as product manager. Uh, they are inherently just there to learn more new things, right? So for us, it is important that we'll be able to build some sister communities, some parallel communities. In fact, we just launched the women in product community. Um, that is also a grassroots community helping more women break into tech roles in India. So I think some of these sister communities, some of these other initiatives are the ones that are going to drive the primary community. And uh, we're hoping eventually I think we'll figure it all out. Uh, thanks, Suhas. Uh, talking about methodology of, of your company working, what are some of the measures uh, you guys are taking to curb digital distraction and boost the productivity? 100%. I think at... Um, um, at Indistractable, I think this launcher has been around for over a year now, but between the two of us, we've been able to scale this to over almost 10 lakh downloads, right? Over uh, almost a million downloads without a dollar spent, right? Completely based on uh, app store optimization, figuring out the right channels, building out small, tiny, lovable features that uh, some of our early users like and they rave about it, right? So I think that has worked really well for us on the product side. Um, now, how do we build a productivity slash um, digital distraction free environment for some of our community members. I think we've realized um, um, it is a personal thing, right? Some of y'all might be really interested to chat or be active on social media. Some of y'all might choose not to. Um, one thing we realized we're going against the tide. I think it's really easy to sit on Instagram and scroll for hours together, but the Opposite is hard, right? So these these are large companies spending billions of dollars to get you hooked to your phone. It's not going to be easy for us. Um, we try our best maybe via the product directly or via sessions and other introductions that we've done outside of it. Um, try to build small, tiny processes to help people maybe, you know, log out, maybe, you know, um, go out. You know, when we when we catch up, I think it's always phones away. Um, we try uh, hanging out, you know, when whenever we try hanging out, it's mostly uh, catch up for, say, a game of football, a game of badminton. So at least you're at least away from the device in whatever possible way that we can try. Uh, it's, it's a long journey is what something we've realized, but I think we're down the right path. Talking about the stakeholders, uh, for any business, there are two most important stakeholders, uh, the, the suppliers and the customers, right? So how, how do you ensure that these two uh, stakeholders are at the satiated level when it comes to providing them you know, services? Fair enough. I think for us, um, I'll take the example of the product folks. Um, I would say uh, people looking to hire great product managers would be one bucket. And the other bucket would be people looking to transition into product managers. Right. So for us, that would be the supply and demand. Um, 
luckily i think india is at a stage where we need great product managers so any senior product manager group product manager that you chat with they want to hire great product managers all the time right so everyone's always looking so that's a great point there is demand already in the market um, so if you're building a marketplace or you're building a service ensure that there is some demand in the market if there is no demand coming from the market even if you have a great product it is going to be super hard to sell in that market right you'll have to create education you have to create awareness and then go on selling uh, category creation is always always hard although very fruitful if you're able to crack it then you know it is your market to to win but i think that first mover advantage is is not always the best um go into a market where there's always there's already some demand right and um, in our case this might be an example but there are different ways of doing it right for example even as simple as a shopify app download the keyword research see what people are already looking for and it's not available that could be a great product that you can build right um so i think wherever there's inherent demand can you get great supply to fulfill that i think that would be the strategy that i would go with um, in our case yeah we're trying to help lot more people uh, learn about product management upskill in product management bring them to these opportunities um, and i think we're doing fairly well at that last but not the least what has been your experience in digital success summit interacting with the audience interacting with the speakers fantastic fantastic uh, audience uh, got to chat with some of the panelists lovely set of folks lovely set of hosts to be on it and kolkata is a beautiful city right so if you guys are coming down um, if you're not here this time i would definitely recommend you joining in for the next one uh, thank you suhas for your wonderful time thanks a lot